how would you sum up this first year with Ron Rivera here in Washington? Um, you know, I'll sum it up just by being, you know, nothing but hopeful for this organization going forward, uh, especially as a guy that has been on a couple teams, um, you know, the highs to the lows, you know, I get to recognize, you know, when a good thing is, is starting to happen and I can truly recognize uh, this organization is heading in the right direction. Can you maybe share some of the things you're seeing that, that leads you to believe that? Uh, the number one thing I've seen, you know, um, to be specific, and I was with the Seahawks when we went to the Super Bowl, the biggest thing with that team was a standard that was created and maintained. And I think Coach Rivera is doing everything that he can to create a clear standard for this organization. Um, it's something that is tough to build, and we're, and we're getting there. Um, and just being able to witness that and see that as I was a part of one before uh, is very recognizable. Kevin, what are those things that, that set the standard? What are the, the small specific things you see? Um, it's, you know, clear communication from top down. Um, you have a leader and a fighter in Coach Rivera. It's very evident. And then it trickles down from the leaders on the team down to the guys that are uh, getting their practice reps. Um, just it's, it starts to flow from the top down to where if someone's not doing something within the standard, it's easy, it's easy, it's easily noticeable. Um, and that's what I'm starting to see. And Ke Kevin, when you when you talk about that, is it is it things that he's saying? Is it like what are some examples of that standard? that you say this is an example of what he's either said or done that has trickled down? Um, I'm not sure how specific I can be, but it's it's execution, you know? he He's a person that leads by example. He's going to say what he's going to do. And that's very important, you know, having a leader like him to say, hey, this is what we're gonna do when we go out there. And then it actually happens. He makes the calls that he says that he's gonna make um, he tells us how much he believes in us and he shows through his actions. And, you know, these are things that as players, we can't do anything but believe in a man like that. What do you think the next step is for this defense, Kevin? Um, just continuing to, to execute the, the small details. Um, the, all the pieces are here. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind, all the pieces are here. Um, even that, you know, there's going to be a couple guys that's going to be free agents. Uh, but even the guys that aren't free agents, the pieces are here. So I know the coaches are going to do a great job self-scouting, um, bring in whoever they think that's going to fit this program and the standard that's being built here now. And it's going to be exciting to to watch the Washington football team going forward. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did we feel you know, more? Too. Uh, Kevin, this was a, a different sort of role, I think a larger role than, than maybe you played in, in the past in your career. What did you make of this season and, and kind of what is your mindset heading into uh, free agency? Um, what I've made of this season is, uh, you know, different challenges are going to be thrown your way. Some that you can control, some that you can't. And it's just about how you respond. Uh, you know, we started off the season with a, with a good uh, win and then things didn't go our way for a couple a couple games. A lot of times teams like that will fold, uh, you know, might be talk of trying to get a, a draft pick or something. And that's not something that we did. You know, we all buckled down and we finished the season strong. Uh, went from a team that didn't look like we we're going to make the playoffs. So now we're in a wild card. You know, uh, unfortunately, things didn't go our way, but you know, it, it showed this community how promising this team would be in the direction that it's going. And, you know, for myself, you know, heading to free agency, you know, business decisions will be made, but it was nothing but a blessing to be a part of this program. Uh, you know, I can tell my grandkids one day, you know, when they hear the Washington football team, like, you know, I was a part of that. I saw um, the magic that was happening in the beginning. Kevin, would you like to be back or is it important to you to kind of test the market and see where things stand? You know, I, I can't say all the positive things about this organization and not want to be back here. Um, but, you know, just as a seven year vet, I understand, you know, um, choices have to be made. Um, business decisions have to be made. And, you know, I, I would love to be back here, but you, you never know what's going to happen in this business. And that's why, you know, you never burn any bridges. 
Uh, you handle yourself as a professional to all the young guys that are out there because you know you never know when paths are going to be crossed again if it's as a player as a coach uh, so once again i was just uh, very appreciative to be a part of this program